Today is February 1st, and this is Rosara's Investments. This is a bonus video because so much is happening this afternoon, and I'm super excited. Apple is going to be reporting earnings. Um, a, a couple of the stocks to pay attention to would be Amazon, would be uh, companies like Amgen and Alibaba. Um, I just bought shares of Alibaba a couple hours ago. Uh, they reported numbers, and they had good growth and everything. The stock dropped, so I picked up a couple shares for on the cheap. I think it was $198 or $197 a share. So this is just a, a just an informal bonus video from my living room. I have my uh, my my computer open. I have CNBC on. I'm I'm waiting for earnings, and I'm probably more excited for uh, the this afternoon than I am for uh, the Patriots winning the Super Bowl pretty soon. But it's an exciting time. So. I don't know if I'm rooting for uh, some stocks to go up or down, but this video is just for the traders. I, as a trader, uh, the trading part of my account, I'm going to be trying to take advantage of swings that are either too far up or too far down. And um, yesterday I bought shares of PayPal because they were trading around $85. And I noticed after hours, PayPal dipped to about $76. So what I did is I borrowed some money on margin and I bought 200 shares. And when PayPal went back up to $80.30, I sold them for a nice $860 profit. So there are things like that and inefficiencies in the stock market that you can take advantage of if you are an active trader and you have your eye on the market. After hours and earnings weeks is a, a really juicy time to be involved. And if you can stomach taking a few thousand dollars of risk, it's a good time to be an investor. If you know what you're doing, you have to be experienced. Uh, there is risk and you can lose money, but there are big things happening. And I do own a call option in Apple, so I'm rooting for Apple to go up. But on the other hand, if Apple does drop significantly, let's say Apple drops to like 156 or 157 if they take a, a good 5% drop or so, or however much percent that is. Um, yeah, if it drops too far, I'm probably going to be jumping in. If the numbers are decent, but investors are disappointed, I think that's a great time to jump into a stock like Apple because they have other good things going for them. And their services revenue is going to be, which I, I hear they get uh, great margins from. Uh, they have a great profit margin from their services division. Um, yeah, things like that to take advantage of when there's a significant price drop. So, yeah, I'm super interested to hear the numbers. Uh, Apple and Amazon are, are like the big two I'm paying attention to. Uh, Google, too. Um, Google is a very high price stock, so it's kind of harder to buy options in Google. I might buy a couple shares after hours if there's a if there's a big swing one way or the other, but Apple's probably the one I'm most focused on. The PE ratio of Apple is probably 19, around 19, give or take. And uh, they do have a lot of cash. They have a lot of cash coming over. They have big things happening. So be ready. It is uh, 3.29 right now, and they're probably going to be reporting around 4.15 to 4.30 in the afternoon. So it's pretty exciting. So I have my computer open. I have my margin from PayPal all paid off. I paid that back. Um, ended up borrowing 15200 and I just paid that back a couple hours ago. And I am ready to take advantage of some big swings. So probably the game plan is if Apple goes up significantly, I already own an option. I'm just going to be happy and just enjoy the profits. And if Apple goes down significantly, I am going to jump in and you can't buy options after hours so i'll probably just buy regular shares of stock in the extended hours trading session and i will be listening to the conference call i don't know exactly what time the conference call is but a lot of times uh, most companies have a conference call around 5 p.m so that is uh one thing i'll be checking on i could actually check on that right now while i'm at the computer so yeah it's exciting and uh this is the life of an active trader um it's kind of exciting. I mean, I'm going to have uh, tens of thousands of dollars on the line. And um, I do hope that something moves significantly so I can take advantage of uh, price inefficiencies. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll end the video here. I'll keep it really short. And I just wanted to make a quick, uh, like kind of like a bonus video for the traders really quick because there's uh, some exciting stuff going on this afternoon. So I'll just put this up on YouTube, put this up on Facebook so you guys can watch it. And uh, good luck making some money this afternoon if you are an active trader. So 
As always, I do advocate new investors, beginning investors, to be uh, long-term investors. Think in terms of decades, just buy some shares or buy an index fund, hold it for 20 years. That's my most common advice to new investors, and that's what I advocate to you if you are not an active trader or this is not your job. So, all right, have a great day. Bye, guys.